While not everyone remembers his name, I'm sure that most fans of Avatar remember that Iroh had a son who was killed before the events of the show, during Iroh's 600-day siege of Ba Sing Se. For some reason, it was only a hundred days in the last Airbender movie. Your failure in the hundred-day siege of Ba Sing Se won't be held against you. That's such an unnecessary change. I mean, why would you change that? I mean, what the hell, Shyamalan? What were you thinking? What were you thinking with that whole movie? I mean, it was just, it was horrible. I mean, come on. Did you only watch like one episode or something? I thought you were a big fan of this show. What the, come on. Clear your mind. Okay, okay, I'm good. Yes, trust me, I'm good. I'm good. Yes, yes, trust me, I'm good. Let's just continue. better be good. Anyway, Iroh's son was named Lu Ten, in case you forgot. I wonder if he was a lieutenant in the military. Lieutenant. Ow, Another hell, thing man. people may forget or not even realize is how influential Lu Ten was on the history of the Avatar world. It's actually fascinating how important a character can be despite only appearing in two very brief flashbacks, one picture, and being mentioned maybe a dozen times in the show. It's actually the event of his death that caused so much impact on the history of the Avatar world. If Lu Ten didn't die during the Siege of Ba Sing Se, Iroh probably would not have given up the Siege of Ba Sing Se and could have gained control of the city and effectively won the war for the Fire Nation before Aang was ever found by Katara and Sokka. Iroh also would have become the Fire Lord after the death of his father Azulan. Remember that Lu Ten's death is basically what gave Ozai the motivation to ask that Iroh's birthright be revoked and that the crown be given to him. That with Lu Ten gone, Iroh's bloodline has ended. But I am here, father, and my children are alive. Father, revoke Iroh's birthright. This pissed off Azulan and led him to command Ozai to kill Zuko. Ozai was going to do it, but Ursa, Zuko's mom, stopped him by creating a plan where Ozai would be the Fire Lord and Zuko wouldn't be killed. Now, if you've read the Avatar comic called The Search, spoiler alert, you would know that Ursa created a poison that was used to kill Azulan. Azulan's dying wish was allegedly that his successor be his second son, Ozai. Although this was no doubt a complete lie that was fabricated by Ozai and Ursa. So if Lu Ten didn't die in Ba Sing Se, Ozai likely would not have gained motivation to ask for the throne. Which means that whole chain of events that I just described would not have happened. Iroh could have captured Ba Sing Se, Azulan might have lived for many more years, and then Iroh would have been crowned Fire Lord upon his death. Now, I definitely think that Iroh would have been a significantly more benevolent Fire Lord than Ozai, but that doesn't mean he would have necessarily been totally good. Many people seem to forget that Iroh was kind of a quote-unquote bad guy for much of his life. Now, this is definitely due to his upbringing. He wasn't inherently a bad person, but he was raised by the wrong people. Everyone remembers Zuko's struggle with choosing between right and wrong, but few people notice that Iroh went through the same transformation. So you've been there before? Once, when I was a different man. It was just much subtler and smoother and happened over a longer period of time. I think Lu Ten's death showed him how war really affects people, and he no longer wanted to be directly involved. And General Iroh, great hero of our nation. Retired General. Still, for many years after that, he didn't actively oppose the war and was still in favor of the Fire Nation's interests. He still supported Zuko's hunt for the Avatar, and he technically even attacked Aang in Episode 1. It was only after the Fire Nation deemed him a traitor that he started to actively oppose the Fire Lord. Then his life as a fugitive completed his transformation into a good man. I think this is how he understood Zuko's struggle so well, because he went through the same thing. So if Lu Ten didn't die in the siege, Iroh would have been the Fire Lord, ruling over the Fire Nation and a colonized Earth Kingdom. He likely would not have gone through the same personal transformation. Zuko's story would be completely different. No, not that oh, one. Not that Someone's trying to steal something. Right, so right, yes, yes, that's the one. So yeah, Zuko's story would have been completely different as well. Iroh probably never would have allowed soldiers to be used as bait and probably never would have punished Zuko for speaking out. At least not so severely. 
and Iroh probably wouldn't allow Ozai to be so cruel to Zuko. Basically, Zuko never would have gotten scarred and banished to search for the Avatar. Now assuming that Aang is still found by Katara and Sokka in this scenario, there is so much that would happen differently. If Zhao still managed to capture Aang, then Zhao's statement would be true. And no one is coming to rescue you. No, it's just Chuck Testa. Or if Aang avoided capture and still went to the North Pole, the Siege of the North might have been completely different. Iroh probably would be in command, and he would never allow the Moon Spirit to be killed. Which means the Ocean Spirit wouldn't have gone on a rampage, and the Fire Nation actually could have won. And by the end of the story, Aang might have actually had to fight Fire Lord Azulon instead of Ozai. I'm not sure if that would have been easier or more difficult. Sure, Azulon would be in his 90s, but he was a firebending prodigy. And we've seen a lot of people in the Avatar world that still kick ass in their old age. Bumi was 112, and he was one of the greatest, if not the greatest, earthbender in the world. Although Toph would dispute that. I am the greatest earthbender in the world! Or if Azulon died by then, Aang might have had to fight Iroh instead of Ozai. Or maybe even both of them. He might have had to fight the entire Fire Nation royal family, including Crown Prince Lu Ten. However, this also means Azula's conquest of Ba Sing Se never would have happened, and Aang never would have been struck with her lightning. Which means he could have mastered the Avatar state earlier, assuming he still found Guru Patik. And I doubt Iroh would have wanted to wipe out an entire civilization with Sozin's Comet, so Aang could still hypothetically defeat the Fire Nation when they aren't powered by Sozin's Comet. Still, it might have been difficult for him to defeat the entire Fire Nation royal family. I mean, he never would have learned to redirect lightning, and they had at least three people who could Generate it. And if Aang did defeat them, it would have been much more difficult to find a replacement Fire Lord that people would accept. The whole Fire Nation society could have split apart into different states, each competing for power. Okay, so a lot of this is highly speculative, but I can say with confidence that if Luten did not die in Ba Sing Se, Iroh would have been Fire Lord, the Fire Nation would have taken Ba Sing Se earlier, Zuko never would have been scarred and banished, he would have had a relatively normal royal life in the Fire Nation, Luten would have been the the crown prince of the Fire Nation, and Aang would have had a lot more trouble fighting the Fire Nation. Aang would have had a lot more trouble finding a firebending teacher. Well, it's not even gonna be possible! Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? We could look for Zhang Zhang. Yeah, right. Like we'll ever run into Zhang Zhang again. I'm sure you can now see how incredibly different things would have been. The whole storyline would be completely different. This never would have happened. And you just don't have enough anger to fuel it the way you used to. So, all we need to do is make Zuko angry. Easy enough. <laughs> okay, cut it out! Or this. Everyone in the Fire Nation thinks I'm a traitor. I couldn't drag her into it. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Or this. Do you need to talk to Sokka too? Nope, not me. Well, hello. The <laughs> uh, Zuko, yes, why would I be expecting anyone different? So if you didn't notice before, you now realize how important Lu Ten is to the story of Avatar. I always wished we had learned more about him. I remember hearing rumors that there were plans to make an episode about Iroh's backstory and the siege of Ba Sing Se. If that's true, then I have no idea why they scrapped that in favor of some other episodes they gave us. You'd think they'd at least make a comic or something. So yeah, this is probably one of the most significant history altering what if scenarios that you can speculate about in the Avatar franchise. But what other Avatar what if scenarios would you like me to speculate about? Theorizing about alternate histories and fictional universes universes is one of the greatest endeavors that one can pursue. And what do you think would have happened if Lu Ten never died? In Ba Sing Se, not like if he was immortal or anything. I know everybody dies and poops. Don't take the title so literally. So yeah, leave your ideas in the comments, check out my other Avatar videos, and don't forget to subscribe. And follow me on social media. Links in the description. And sorry if the background music made you tear bend.